Did that just happen, Maddie? We were down two to nothing, and we came back to tie it in the last minute of the game to send it to overtime in a game we shouldn't have even won. Wow! Amazing! <laughs> so the Cats get a huge, huge point tonight as they came back against the Nashville Predators after being down and just playing an absolutely horribly sloppy game, getting, you know, just not having that extra step that they've had the whole beginning of the, the whole trip so far. And it just looked like it was just going to be a game where like, okay, hey, they're going to pack it in, you know, go home with a 2-2 two and two record on a West Coast trip where they played very good. Again, even if we didn't get the point, it would have been a very successful trip getting a win against Anaheim and against the San Jose Sharks. But the comeback Cats pull it out in dramatic fashion as they score two goals in 12 seconds with Lolongo pulled for both goals. And like I said, it really didn't start off too well for the Cats. Uh, both goals that Nashville had were fluke goals. One went off of Olsen's skate and hit off Lolongo's helmet and went in. Led to the one nothing lead for Nashville. Then the second one for the Predators went off of Kulikov skate, and it, you know, just and then Jokinen ended up shooting the puck um, at a clear open net and hit both posts. It was just, you know, it was just seemed like it was going to be that type of game, but we persevered, stuck through. And came back to earn a huge point. Still disappointed. You know, I just want to beat Nashville in Nashville. We can't seem to beat Nashville in Nashville. But like I said, I will gladly take this point. It, you know, we go 2-1-1 one, and one on a four-game road trip in the West, playing the top teams in the league. And to be able to come back against the Nashville Predators, one of the stingiest five-on-five teams, and score two goals on them is absolutely huge. And I... You know, also excited about this game is too. Rocco scored his first goal. You know, he could have easily had a goal early in the game if he had just shot the puck. He had beaten the defender, had him. The defender went down, and unfortunately, he didn't um, shoot it. Instead, of passed it, and the play died right there. So, but again, the reason why we had a chance was because of this man. Mr. Lou, Lou Longo, and Lou we trust, and huge game, one of the best games in recent memory, um, faced, I believe, almost 50 shots in this one, stopping pretty much all 50 shots, again, I'm not gonna count the goals that went off of fluke goals, you know, so we are legit guys, the Florida Panthers are a legit team this season, and the NHL better watch out because we are going to go up the standings and make the playoffs this year. I do firmly believe that. Just the way we played on this West Coast trip in the last two weeks, too. Uh, we only had two losses. Um, we only have really had one loss in regulation during the um, these two weeks against the top teams in the league. And that was against the... Um, LA Kings, we lost that game 5-2, to two, but other than that, we played pretty good against every other team. We got a point um, against every single team except the Kings. So, really, really proud of my Cats tonight and this last two weeks and this week. So, a huge homestand coming up Thanksgiving week as we will face off against the Minnesota Wild on Sunday. Then we go ahead and play a very weak Carolina team on Wednesday before Thanksgiving. And then... Black Friday here in the United States, we will play the Ottawa Senators. A huge game. I am circling this one as the big game on the schedule for the Cats next week as they are ahead of the Panthers, and we need to catch them in order to make a playoff spot. So I want to know what you guys think of this game. Are you guys excited as I am? I hope you guys are. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys after the game against the Wild.